Okay, so playing show and tell here while I still have this. Um, got this rifle about uh, a little over two years ago from a relative of mine. Um, it was a freebie. So they didn't know what they had. They didn't even know if it worked. They thought it was a wall hanger, basically, and didn't even have a firing pin. Well, as I found out when I was cleaning it for, you know, just showing off and stuff, that it actually does have a firing pin. It's fully functional. And mm, a couple years after the fact, after I had already, you know, let it sit in the closet in a nice little you know, gun case and everything for a while, um, come to find out this thing shoot straight, uh, and is kind of an oddball. Uh, what it is is a 1944 German Mauser. It is fully marked. Uh, got all the Nazi stampings and everything, the little eagles and whatnot. Um, it is a German 8mm Mauser. However, it is not a 22 conversion, or it's not a 22 dedicated rifle. It is a 22 conversion. As you can see, unusual feature here is the fact that it has a bottom-fed magazine as opposed to the top-fed um, standard you know, 8 millimeters on a stripper clip that poke in through the top. What we have here is this, this magazine you push forward on this. It's hard to do one-handed. Uh, push forward on that. And you have this groovy little five-shot magazine. Holds 22 long rifle. Stamp 1938 says Erfurt Irma. Irma Erfurt. Irma Irma, whatever. E-R-M-A, which is an acronym for whatever the heck it was. Something has to do with Erfurt, which sounds all cool and everything. Um, but yeah, apparently this kit was pretty uh, pretty uncommon, I guess, or is now uncommon, because I guess it was not a collector's item until somebody realized that they're hard to come by, and, and nobody hardly brought them over. Um, as I understand it, the person I got this from, their father-in-law, brought this over from Germany after the war and then he ended up with it after he passed away and he didn't know what he had, didn't know what it was, he wasn't into guns, he stuck it in a cedar chest and kind of forgot about it then took it out of the cedar chest one day, was cleaning out the garage, says here you want this, it's 22, I don't even know what it works I'm like sure I'll take it, it's a free gun and you got to look enough into it and find out this thing's kind of an oddball um, 22 conversion consists of this magazine Normally, well, with the original kit, it would come with two magazines and a nice wooden box. This whole assembly is one piece, as opposed to the standard one being a trigger guard and a uh, base plate with a spring. This doesn't have that. This is just because, I mean, you don't need a follower spring. You have a magazine. Um, so it's this piece, this piece. And then, let me put this up on a tripod roll moment. Okay, the rest of this consists of... You have the bolt, which is a, it's got the curved style um, lever, as opposed to your standard Mauser will have the straight out sideways one like that when it's before it's even cocked. This one, it's got this nice little curved deal here, kind of like the sniper ones or, or whatever, I suppose. Um, so your bolt here removes like so, as opposed to using the, the release lever. Tiny little bolt, cute little sucker. And it's even stamped with their little eagles, which I don't know if I can get a macro shot out here in a minute, but it's stamped 276 is the number on there. And 1937, I think it says what else on the rest of it. 1937 on the rest of it, 1938 on the magazine. And then you have the insert, which is basically a barrel inside of a barrel. Um, I think they call it a sub-caliber uh, conversion, which they used to do again with the, the Lugers, that Irma used to make conversion kits for for 22 long rifle. But comes out so far, push this little lever over like you would for releasing the bolt on a regular one, and it comes out the rest of the way. And you have this long tube inside of there. And there it is. It's just a thin walled barrel tube. And that's all there is to this conversion is these three parts right here essentially, and the, of course, the base plate and trigger guard assembly, which is all one piece. Um, just, you know, you remove your set screws, two main screws, pull straight out. The rest of it, the rest of this rifle is all 1944 original German, stamped, still has the Eagles, DOT 1944, as opposed to just 44, I've seen on a couple of them, uh, some local shops. 
Um, but yeah, it's still chambered for 8mm barrel. Still perfectly good rifling in there. It looks like it hasn't even hardly been used. It's not fouled or anything. When I got it, I had to run a couple patches through it or keep it clean, but it really wasn't that bad. Um, doesn't have the cleaning rod. Has bayonet lug on it still. Um, all the numbers on this rifle itself match. Uh, butt plate and, and everything else all matches and it's all stamped so uh, the rifle itself I don't know not especially valuable because it's not complete I don't have the original bolt I don't have the original base plate um, and spring and trigger guard if I did it would be worth I don't know how much but more than it is of course and this conversion kit because it is such an odd duck if I had the original wooden case that it came in and the extra magazine, even if the numbers didn't match, it would be worth a chunk of change. If everything matched, if I had the original box, everything, I've been quoted upwards of 900 bucks or more just for the conversion. Not bad, especially considering it was free. Um, as it is, though, I have two kind of almost complete things put together. 450 is the, the best I've been quoted so far. Which, again, not bad at all. Free gun. So, hey, I can't grab. Um, anyways, just thought I'd play a little show and tell, share it with the rest of the world in case anybody's ever never seen one, never heard of one, or whatever. But, um, yeah, if you ever look on uh, some internet auctions and stuff and you've seen anything about 22 conversions, if you find one of these, they're pretty slick. You, like I say, you basically have two guns in one. You can pop this in there, shoot some 22 rounds, and then take it right back out, and you've got your. 8mm Mauser, you haven't put anything through, and the ammo, of course, for 22 is 3 cents a shot, as opposed to, what, dollar twenty-five a shot for 8mm, so, pretty neat little deal, but I don't like the 5-shot limitation on this, it only sold 5 rounds, I only got one magazine, and, you know, I'd rather have something that I can get cheap ammo for and actually use, I'm not much of a collector, so, uh, gonna probably get me a Mosin Nagant, a couple little 22s, and something else. I mean, you know, I could probably get four rifles out of one. So, anyways, uh, just thought I'd share with you. See if anybody gives a crap. So, there you go. Better.